Hello friends, this video on application of integrals part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's take one example. Here you have to find the area borne by the curve x minus 1 square plus y square and x square plus y square is equal to 1. That is both are circles actually. So with uh, this guy is center 0, 0 and this guy is center 1, 0. And radius is also 1. So let's draw our first circle center 0 0 and radius 1. So if this is 0 0, my radius is 1, so this guy becomes 1 0. Correct? So if my this guy is 1 0, I have to draw one more circle this with this point as center and again radius 1. So those the new circle will also be symmetric. So let's draw one more circle at this point and radius 1. So I'll get something like this. Now I have to find the area borne by this curve, so that is I have to find area, let me put the value P Q R S. So I have to find area of P Q R S. Now by symmetry you can see that the area of, let's suppose if you put point some T here, where T is, you draw a line here, this guy is the, now here, you can see that this guy is nothing but 2 area of P Q T S T P Q T S. So you start from here, you go to there, this point. So this big area is nothing but twice of small area. Why I'm doing this? Because this is in the coordinate one and, and where x and y both are positive, so it's easy to find this area. So we'll find this area actually. And we'll multiply by 2 to get the required area. Now the challenge is how to find this area. Finding this area is not that difficult. Finding this area is, if you see this whole area is nothing but area of this, I will say with dot plus area of this with stars. So you see, my required area is nothing but the area the, with the dotted region plus area with star region and multiply by 2. So this is nothing but if you see 2 into area of dotted region that is P S T area of PST again P plus area of PTQB correct dot region start region so area of this guy if you see if I take Y uh, some X trip here if I vary X from here this guy is nothing but 2 into integration of 2 common here Y dot DX where y is where x is varying from 0 to t, I'll find the t, give me some time, plus here also if you see this is nothing but varying from t to 1, the red curve, right? So that is nothing but y dot dx from t to 1, the red curve. This is y green and this is y red. Correct. This is nothing but if you see y green, for y green, my formula is x minus 1 square plus y square is equal to 1. So y will be nothing but if you see for this guy, my y will be nothing but root of 1 minus x minus 1 square. Correct. So this becomes root of 1 minus x minus 1 square dx integration from 0 to t plus again y green is <coughs> y red. y red is x square plus y square is equal to 1. So here y will be root 1 minus x square. So root 1 minus x square dx and varies from 0 to, sorry, t to 1. Whole thing multiplied by 2. So what I have done is, this green curve y dot dx, x varies from 0 to t, that is the, this guy, plus this red curve dot dx, Right, red curve is root of minus x square, y is that part, and from t to 1. So this is my answer actually. I have to solve this, but before solving this, I have to find the value of t. What is the value of t? So to find t, if I find p, I can find t because t is nothing but if you have the exponent of t, the same exponent t has. So let's find p. p is what? p is nothing but intersection of these two circles. Correct. So let's find P. 
So I have my equation x minus 1 square plus y square is equal to 1 and x square plus y square is equal to 1. You subtract both these equations, right? What do you get? x minus 1 square minus x square that is x minus 1 square minus x square is equal to 0 or x minus 1 minus x into x minus 1 plus x is equal to 0 a square minus b square or you get 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or you get x is equal to 1 by 2. So x coordinate is 1 by 2 and that is what I am looking for. So this guy point is 1 by 2 comma 0. Right? This point is 1 by 2 comma some y. I am not interested in y so I will not find it y. So t point is 1 by 2 comma 0. So t is 1 by 2. So now I know the area. I have to just find this equation by putting the value of t. So let's do the calculation part in the next slide. So my area comes out to be nothing but twice of integration of 0 to 2 t that is 1 by 2 root 1 minus 1 minus x square dx plus 1 by 2 to 1 root 1 minus x square dx correct this if you see 2 common this becomes x by 2 that is 1 minus x by 2 correct into root of 1 minus 1 sorry it's x minus 1 square it is x minus 1 square so this becomes x minus 1 not 1 minus x right it is 1 minus x minus 1 square so this is 1 minus x minus 1 square correct plus 1 by 2 sin inverse x that is x minus 1 by a that is 1 from 0 to 1 by 2 plus this guy root 1 minus x square becomes x by 2 root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse x from 1 by 2 to this is what you get. So if you solve this, what you get is x equal to 1 by 2 you put. So 1 by 2 minus 1, that is 1 by 2. This becomes by 2, that is 1 by 4. This becomes minus 1 by 4, right? 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2. By 2, minus 1 by 4. Root of 1 minus x minus 1 by 2, which is minus 1 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse. 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2 by 1 minus you put 0 this becomes minus 1 by 2 into root 1 minus 1 minus 1 square right that is again 0 plus 1 by 2 sin inverse minus 1 by 1 plus the other guy this guy now x by 2 x is 1 1 by 2 root 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 sin inverse 1 minus now I'll put 1 by 2 1 by 4 root 1 minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. So if you saw and the whole thing if you see is nothing but multiplication by 2 is common here into so this becomes minus 1 by 4 into this becomes 1 minus 1 by 4 correct so root 1 by uh, this becomes 1 root 1 minus 1 by 4 is root 3 by 2 actually see root of 1 minus 1 by 4 is number root 3 by 4 that is root 3 by 2 correct so this is what you get plus 1 by 2 sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 is nothing but minus pi by 6 minus 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 this is 0 gone this is minus of 1 by 2 sin inverse of minus 1 that is again minus pi by 2 correct this whole thing plus this becomes 0 
वन बाई टू साइन वर्स ऑफ वन दर इज अगेन पाई बाई टू करेक्ट एंड दिस इज माइनस वन बाय फोर दिस इज अगेन बिकम रूट थ्री बाई टू एंड माइनस अगेन वन बाई टू साइन वर्स वन बाई टू इज फाइव बाई सिक्स दिस इज वॉट यू गेट So if you solve this, this is nothing but if you solve this, nothing but two pi by six minus root three by eight. Right? Root three by eight, root three by eight becomes root three by four. If you see this guy, this guy, and then you solve this pi components, right? You get two pi by six, and the answer this will be two into this, or you can say that this is nothing but two pi by three minus root three by eight, and that's the answer. So this is more of calculation part. Let's take one more example. We define the area between the regions uh, bounded by the curve. Y is equal to x square plus two, and y is equal to x. X is equal to zero, and x equal to three. So let's draw this. This is y is equal to x square plus two. Let's draw y is equal to x line, and then we have this x is equal to zero, and x is equal to three. So we have x is equal to zero, one, two, three. At this point, so we have a line that is. X equal to zero. This line, and x is equal to three. Line we have like this. So what is the common area which you can see that is uh, bounded by this curve? This line y is equal to x, right? So this y is equal to x line, and then x is equal to three line. This is x equal to three. This is x equal to zero, and this is the common curve we can see. How to find the area of this common curve? If you can see that, if you take this curve and integrate from x equal to zero to x equal to three, you'll get the whole complete area. That is, you'll get the area of let's suppose this is O, this A, B, C, some point D, D. So if you integrate, you'll get O, A, B, C, D, E, full area. But you want only this much area, O, B, C, D, E, this area. So what we can do is we can find the complete area when you integrate this curve with respect to x, and then we can integrate this line with respect to x. You we'll get this area. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the area of this region with the triangles. To find area of region with the triangles, what I'm doing is I am saying area of O B C D E that is area of region with the triangles which I'm looking for is nothing but Area of O A B C D E O. This is complete area which you get when you integrate this curve with respect to x minus area of O A B O A B triangle. And this you can get by integrating this curve with respect to x. So let's do this. So the first area is nothing but integration of y curve dot dx from zero to three. Minus y line dot l dot dx from zero to three. What is the equation of y curve? Y is nothing but x square plus two. So this becomes x square plus two dx zero to three minus y line. Y line is x, right? X dx zero to three. So this you get x cube by three plus two x. Zero to three minus x square by two, zero to three. So what you get here is this becomes uh, three twenty seven by three plus six minus zero plus minus this becomes nine by two. So this becomes nine nine plus six is fifteen. Fifteen minus nine by two which is twenty one by two. And that's the answer. So this was not that difficult. I have this curve. I can find this big area. I can find a small area and subtract. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.